Good morning. We have a lot of stuff to do today, but first, I need coffee. I am so tired. Help is on the way, dear! Mrs. Delphi! Help is on the way! Now we're talking. Cheers. Delightful. Now I can start my day. I'm going to do a quick haul to show you guys what I'm going to be doing, what I'm working with today, and then I'm going to get started. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. Oh boy. Time to drink more. I'm glad I made a full pot. Okay, the first thing I have to share with you is the curtain rod for the sliding glass door. I think that'll be the first thing I work on today. I have to work on taking the old one out, obviously. So I will do like, uh, show you like a before and then an after. I'm not going to record during, you know, normally I would do like a time lapse, but I think that it's going to take me a while because I have to use a tool that I'm not used to using to get the old blinds down because they're just old and funky. They've been here since I moved in and I've been here a long time. So it's, it's time for an update. The, the curtains look gross. Uh, yeah, anyway, we'll get to that. So, curtain rod for sliding glass door. Uh, curtain rod for bedroom. My office has a curtain rod. My bedroom has one, but it's not very good. It needs to be replaced. Then we have a rod for the kitchen window. I am so excited to be replacing that. The kitchen window has uh, metal blinds, and I absolutely hate them. There's a bend, because my cat, and um, they just are a dust magnet. No matter how many times I clean it, they never look clean. So bye-bye metal blinds. Speaking of cleaning, I bought a brand new duster. This one has an extended pole, which is so wonderful. My stairway has vaulted ceilings and there's some cobwebs that I'm way too short to reach. So this is going to be so much safer than standing on my tippy toes with a broom with a, a towel over the edge of the broom trying to get it. So much better. It extends pretty far. I'm so happy to have that. Skye, would you settle down? Oh, she keeps running back and forth and she just spilled my coffee. Hi, Shorty. You're a good girl. Are you going to help your mommy today? Are you going to help me with stuff around the house? Or all of our upgrade, home improvement, organizing, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> all right, baby. i got to finish showing everybody what we're doing today. These are little wall pegs. I will be putting up in the office and then we'll be hanging spools of yarn on them. Um, let's see what else we have. Brand new drip pans for the stove top. Mine are just so old and wore out and rusted and gross and in dire need of being replaced. Hi, sweetheart. We have my screwdriver. <laughs> Curtains for the kitchen. Curtains for the office. Curtains for the bedroom. I had to put a post-it note on them so I knew which one was going to what windows. And then we have loose curtains for the sliding glass door. These ones came from my mother-in-law. She gave us these. So that's why they're not in a in a package uh, and the last thing in the bag is the display for your uh, virtual run metals so we'll be putting this up in the bedroom I accidentally threw away the little Ziploc bag that had 
the screws to mount this on the wall. So hopefully in my jar of nails and screws, I will be able to find something that'll work for this. Whew. So let's get to this. We're going to work in the dining room kitchen area first. All right, here is the before on the sliding glass door. We are replacing these ugly white curtains that just look so dingy and just outdated. Blackout curtains are up on the new curtain rod and they look pretty good. They're a little wrinkled, so I will have to eventually steam them. But there they are. Hey, kitty. What do you think? Sky? Yeah. Yeah, skitty approved. Next thing on the to-do list, getting rid of these metal blinds and putting up a curtain rod and blackout curtains here as well. Um, since the trim is so close, I'm not going to be able to put up an actual curtain rod. So I got one of those that's similar to like in a shower that um, just kind of suction cups, I think. Is that the word? I don't know. Anyway, you'll see when I'm done. So here's your before. And here are the blackout curtains on the kitchen window. Uh, I'm not sure I like this little gap here. The tension bar is not very strong. The one I got is not right for these curtains, so I may have to get a different one. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave it like this until I can get a different tension bar, and then I will lower it. Right now, I just have it hanging on a little hook here to give it some support. And those curtains are very wrinkled. Huh. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, I have a lot of steaming to do. Next on the to-do list are the stovetop drip pans. I will show you before. It's disgusting. They are so old and burnt out and rusty and just greasy and nasty. Please don't judge me. Okay, so there's the gross before. Three, two, one. And like that, they're nice and shiny and new. I'd like to find a sticker, whatever this is, to replace that. I just don't know where to go. I guess I go to Whirlpool. See if their website has it for this model. Cool. That looks really, really nice. So much better. I was sitting here staring at the kitchen window curtains and getting irritated. So I decided to take them down and start over. And instead of doing the tension rod between the cabinets, I shoved it in the actual window seal where it should be. Duh. And... It looks so much better. You'll have to excuse all my, my clutter. I'm in the middle of cleaning. So it's not as much of a gap down here. And then I put that, that thing back up. And I think that looks so much better. Heck yeah. So this little gap down here, we'll have to figure out something. Maybe I'll get one of those little risers that I could put like the soaps and things on. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that's not bad except for all the wrinkles, but I'll, I'll get the steamer out later. The kitchen is done. That means downstairs is done. And now it's time to go upstairs to do the curtains in the bedroom and the office and whatever else I have on my list of things to do. But I'm going to take a little bit of a break from you guys. It'll be just a matter of seconds because of the power of editing. It's so magical. I'm going to take a break and get some lunch because I'm hungry. It is, what time is it? Oh, it's already 1.30. Holy smokes, this took a lot longer than I thought it would, and I'm only halfway done. So on that note, see you in a few. A few moments later... Now we're upstairs. I'm in the bedroom and I know it's terrible lighting. I'm just way too lazy to drag my ring light all the way upstairs to set it up. Uh, so, sorry. So these are the curtains that I'm going to be taking down and replacing with blackout curtains. 
I'm also going to take down the mini blinds because they are broken and I absolutely hate them. So here is the before. I've just barely started and I've already ran into a snag. This is the wrong size curtain rod. Oh, shoot. I think I'll just use what I already got up there for now. I'll replace it eventually. I just want to get this done. So I'm gonna to have to return this guy. That sucks. Bedroom blackout curtains are up. I actually ended up repurposing a curtain rod I had in the other room that was in front of my closet. So this will work. It looks okay for now. Not too shabby. I like it. The next thing to do in this room is to hang up my run metal display. I'm going to put it on the wall here behind me. Right underneath this candelabra. So it'll go right there. There it is. Ta-da! That looks cool. It'll look even better when I do more virtual runs and fill it up. And now for the last window in the house, the office. So here is the before. Ta-da! We now have blackout curtains in the office. That looks good. Next project. We are going to put these wall hooks above my closet. And these hooks are going to hold the spools of yarn that we have made by repurposing the reels from our 3D printer filament. So we've been uh, saving the empty spools and then winding yarn on them. And my plan is to have a spool of each of the house color Harry Potter scarf uh, yarns that I use. So right now I have Ravenclaw and eventually we'll get all the other houses on spools, but I do want to get the pegs up and they are going to go up there where those photos are that say California. And I think I'm going to move those to above the window. There they are. I got six. I'm going to need to get two more because I'm going to need eight total, but I've got time. So this is what it's going to look like right now. I only have those two yarns on a reel. Eventually I will add the other house colors and that'll be where they live. I'm so excited. And I moved the California photos over there. So each photo, is the letter that spells out California that used to be in front of California Adventure at the Disneyland Resort. I think that's it. If there is more, I'm going to put it off for some other day because I am exhausted and I am filthy. I need to take out all the trash. I'm going to throw away all the blinds and garbage. Then I'm going to take a shower and relax the rest of the night. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on my curtains vlog, home vlog, redecorating, reorganizing, whatever we're calling it. I have no idea. Anyway, I feel accomplished and proud. I got something done today. Yay! And it looks good. Awesome. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload videos, although it's usually Monday and Friday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Every now and then I might put an extra video up just because things are random. That's why we call it Random Life Adventures. 
I'll see you guys again real soon. Have a great day.